What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. So if you guys been subscribed for a while or if you're new to the channel, I've been doing Tasker videos for quite a while where you can do really cool things with your Tesla and your Android phone. However, Tasker itself is an extremely powerful tool, but it is also rather confusing at times. So if you follow those videos, you can accomplish exactly what I'm showing you. However, if you wanna apply what you learn to try to do something else, it can be rather confusing to use. I wanna show you something new, it's called MacroDroid. Uh, it is a version of Tasker, functions kinda of similar, but it is much easier to use. So if you're not as tech savvy and you still wanna do some of the cool things that I show off uh, in the videos, this is a much simpler way to do it. Uh, in this video here, I'm gonna to talk to you and show you the bare bone basics of MacroDroid. And then in future videos, I will show you a little bit more complex stuff. However, like I said before, it is much easier than Tasker. Uh, and you can do kind of similar stuff, but you can do different stuff as well that uh, would be much harder to accomplish on Tasker. So uh, MacroDroid is completely free. It limits you to a macro limit of five. Uh, that basically means you can only set five different macros and we're gonna make one today in this video. If you wanna unlock unlimited, I think it's like a couple of dollars, but uh, nonetheless, let's go back here. We're gonna start off in the top right, we're gonna click add macro. And in this one here, this video here, I'm gonna show you how to set a, send a navigation point to your car every day at a certain time. So if you go to work every morning and you wanna have uh, the navigation data automatically set on your Tesla, uh, keep on watching. So uh, we're gonna go here, we want to add a macro and we have three options along the top. We have triggers, we have actions, and we have constraints. So let's go to triggers and these are all the categories. So if you see, uh, we click battery and power, you can see all our sub options. What we want is date and time because that's what we're doing today. We go to day slash time trigger and then we work Monday to Friday, let's say. Uh, you can see how the time is, it goes through military time. So. Uh, let's say 7.45 is when we leave, we have to be at work at 8. Uh, this is just a made-up scenario, okay? So we hit OK. Uh, we scroll up to the top, we can see day slash time trigger. So right now that will trigger the action. So we go to action, and then again, these are all our categories. So, I mean, you can even do take a picture uh, of your front-facing camera, you know, back facing camera without even a flash or whatever uh, location and all sorts of stuff but what we want is the tesla tasker plugin so if we go to applications we go to local slash tasker plugin and i will have a link to this plugin in the description below uh, but you still need the tesla tasker plugin which is again a couple of dollars so we go here uh, we're going to select our vehicle so we have an option i'll keep it on mother frunker hit ok and then we're going to go to action we're going to scroll down to send navigation data uh, just real quick look how many options you have access to it is still the same as before uh, but anyway we'll go to send navigation data and then we're going to type in our destination so for the sake of this video and it is not true by any means so don't leave that in the comments that i work for tesla but we're putting in the tesla gigafactory as our uh, work location or wherever we want it to alert us every day. So eight, nine, four, three, four, we're hit okay. We're gonna hit the check mark up here. And then whenever we're done, we have our trigger, we have our action, we can hit the plus in the bottom right. I wanna talk about constraints real quick. Uh, constraints basically work like this, the trigger and the action won't run if whatever you're setting here happens. So for example, if our battery level is less than, I don't know, 20%, we decide, hey, if our battery is less than 20%, we're not working. We don't need to send the navigation data. I don't know why that would be, but <laughs> nonetheless, we hit okay. Uh, basically that is added as a constraint. So you can see trigger action constraint. When we're done, we hit the plus in the bottom right. We're gonna give it a name. We're going to call it uh, automatic navigation. We're going to hit OK. And it brings us back to the main page. You can see the macro over here. We can click it. Uh, just real quick, there is a toggle to toggle it on and off. Make sure it is toggled on. But you can see here navigation, uh, automatic navigation. So it triggers at this time 
uh, the action is here and our constraint is there. So this will totally 100% uh, every day. And I don't know why I put the 645. So we can go to configure here and then we can go bring it up to 745. But uh, and then here at our check mark to save it. But you can see here every day at 745, it's going to trigger to send the navigation data of the Gigafactory to my car as long as the battery is greater than 20%. If it's less than 20%, it won't work. So as you can see, this is extremely easy. It's very block-based and you can add more than one action. So if we click here, we can go back to applications. We can add more stuff, another you know tester related thing or whatever you may want. So this is the bare bone basic version of this and how to use it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this content. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you guys have ideas, if you play around with this and have ideas of how you're going to use it, let me know. I have a number of things I want to show you, and I will do that in upcoming weeks. So do like the video, do subscribe for the latest and greatest Tesla content. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.